Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and it is a Friday, and it means another obscurity in literature, or in other words, pretty pictures to look at. This is a book that I had forgotten existed, and once I rediscovered the fact that it existed, I immediately went to hunting a copy down, and that is the Takayama Toshiaki Artworks, uh, and this cover perfectly encapsulates everything that I love about this artist's work. Um, nice looking girls, really big, long, elaborate swords, guys in fancy armor, of various fantasy tropes, as well as, you know, historical Asian battlegrounds. Um, a few demons, giant robots, dragons, and mecha. I mean, it's, it's literally everything that I love about, I don't know, just fantasy artwork in general. Uh, but I think of many of the artists of this style, Toshiaki Takayama really nails it, and we'll see why in a sec. I first discovered his work um, through the Duel Masters card game, and in fact, I think that's probably where he kind of rose to prominence, is throughout illustrating all sorts of card games, for various publishers, various companies, um, well, throughout the last 20 plus years at least, if not longer than that. I mean, I think the very first Duel Master sets were probably in the late 90s, and I think that's where I first saw some of his work along with like Daisuke Izuka, and I don't think they've done any books of his yet. This is actually the first book. I know there are more, and there's also all sorts of self-published stuff at like the comic, comic market type areas. But those get pricey, because those are super limited runs. This, however, is a regular, nicely published book, of which there are multiple volumes. I don't know if I'll do videos on all of them, but let's get into it. So here we have another piece of the cover. We have a quick breakdown of where most of this stuff came from. Uh, you can see here, I'm going to save you from the table of contents. It's mostly various card games. So the front of the book is entirely dedicated to original works. And again, this is the stuff I love about his work. Giant dragons with armor, cannons, and mecha. What is there not to like? You can find a lot of these more popular pieces online. Just the use of colors, background, a lot of this is digital artwork. Not that there's anything wrong with that. I'm going to say if the JSDF is flying those kinds of vehicles, we might see more people willing to join. I'm not necessarily fighting giant dragons on top of Tokyo Tower, but, you know, mecha are mecha. Again. So there's this interesting balance of, you know, you've got all the crazy sci-fi, and then there's... Quite a bit of fantasy stuff in here. This piece reminds me of the guy that did a lot of the wizardry artwork. I can't think of his name at the moment. Similar look. Again, high tech dragons on aircraft carriers launching alongside human sized mecha. This is a game waiting to happen for the tabletop. Why we don't see more models like this, I don't know. I mean, I personally would just love more models in this style in general. First I thought that was her foot, then I realized that's her toes right there. Really fun neck designs, but this is where we're getting into the fun stuff and what I kind of associate with his artwork. Big, elaborate, over-the-top, crazy, just ridiculous amounts of flashy elements to these monsters, and that's literally, it's like all it is. Giant mechs, lion-headed mechs. Again, I know these are from Duel Masters because I think I actually have the cards still somewhere. Final red dragon. Too many arms, on fire, too many wings, swords everywhere, power armor parts. 
This man speaks my language. And the crazy thing is this is just a taste. I know we have tons of cards of his. These are from a different game. Yeah, Lord of a Million. Okay. I have never seen an actual working copy of Lord of Vermilion. It was supposed to be one of the first of those games where you could like bring your cards from home into the arcade game center places and like slide them in and have your cards interact on the screen. Never saw it in person. Various monsters for dual masters. Again, when I think of the kinds of dragons that I would love to see on the tabletop, it's it's absolutely stuff from Takayama. The Bullshacks. The Bullshack Dragons. Which, surprisingly, this is one of like five variations. Maybe Izuka did all the other ones. This does not look familiar to me. Lord of Knights. Some nice looking werewolf art there. Again, my kind of dragons. Too many limbs. Overly decorated. And then we jump into some Sengoku era stuff. This does not look familiar. I think Sega did this game. I know Sega did a similar card game with the Three Kingdoms stuff. Because I found stacks of cards for like 50 yen at Book Off one time or Hobby Off or Mondorok, one of those type stores. Picked up some just to have for the artwork. Jumping into the Chinese era stuff, good old Zhao Yun. I do not remember how to say his name in Japanese. So he's rescuing Yuvi's baby there. I wonder if that's supposed to be like Gunning. Our boy Guan. Get some very elaborate art. Bit more fantasy inspired there. Oh, this one just stings. This is from Rage of Bahamut. I really... That was probably the first phone game I probably spent any significant amount of time playing. And naturally they canceled it. But I really liked the artwork in the game. I liked how the cards would actually evolve over time. It had an interesting uh, player-driven economy that you could trade and swap cards with other people. That was always entertaining. Got some good deals there. Again, too many limbs, too many horns. He's got pigtails. I don't know what's going on, like electrical rings. Just funky stuff. This one looks familiar to me. Valkyrie of some sort. Ah, that's right, because it's Vanguard. This isn't Bahamut stuff. I was going to say, him and a, a bunch of his buddies have done a ton of illustrations for Bushi Road games as well. Vanguard, Buddy Fight. Again, big giant mecha robot dragons. If you ever get a chance to go through any of the card shops, oftentimes, at least in Japan, I'm sure even over here, uh, they do have the illustrator's names and they usually, he always writes his name out in katakana there. So if you want to go hunting for his stuff, I guess this is Buddy Fight. I thought, again, this was a Duel Masters one. But again, notice this is totally my type of thing. He's got like the crazy Halo aura thing going on behind him. Weapons sticking out of his hands. Magical energy blades. Six arms. Crazy horns. Got that whole backpack array thing going on. Same with these ones. It's just totally my kind of thing. Friggin' samurai dragons. Sure, why not, right? Look at him. This is so me. Ah, then we get into more of the Three Kingdoms era stuff. My dogs don't like that. <laughs> Somebody's outside, I think. Gang Road. Okay. Never heard of it. Nice look at illustrations. Lost Chronicle. 
Well, the name sounds familiar, and it's definitely more, I'd say, Western-style fantasy art, which is always kind of cool to see. Not so much that, but it still looks cool. Very Odin-looking, Slipner, uh, eight-legged horse. Giant mecha girls. And all sorts of assorted other stuff. You get the idea, I'm assuming, hopefully. But... Like I said, there are definitely a few more books of his out there if you like this kind of style. I put the name in the description there. So if you want to go hunting for his stuff as well, good luck to you. I have seen it on, it shows up even on eBay sometimes if you want to get some of the harder to find stuff. I mean, this is just a good sampling chunk. If ever there was models to inspire people to make things for the tabletop, this is it. This is what we need. Giant mecha dragons with guns. Let me get into a little bit of the background, and there you have it. Fun stuff. So I'm going to go peruse this some more because it just barely came in the mail, and hopefully uh, you guys are going to enjoy hunting down some of his artwork as well. Go do some Google searches. So with that said... This has been High Lord Tan with Lane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon. Bye bye.